And last week, we began a conversation about MC and how it has impacted the creative arts industry. A lot of people are coming up now in that particular field. And we are um, honored to have one of the foremost um, you know, MCs, Masters of Ceremony, that we've had in this country. He's a, a journalist, a TV, a radio presenter. He's a, an international boxing uh, announcer. He's everything, ladies and gentlemen. Nathaniel Atto, a.k.a. Citizen Atto, is our <laughs> guest this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Hey, good to be here. Good to be here. Uh, good to see you. Space is looking sweet as well. <laughs> this is our table, of, good company uh, too, so. our, ta our table of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I love you. this table of life. Yeah. Good to be here. Good to be here. You're welcome. Yeah, when, yeah. When, you, when, you, when you look back at when you started, did you see yourself coming up to this time? Yeah, I always had the picture. Like, um, you know, I'd always look in the mirror and try to picture myself you know, doing all the things that I'm doing now. And... You know, I mean, at that stage, you probably mm. were in school or you probably were <laughs> trying to grow up or you had a few oversized suits that your big brothers and your dad yeah. wore. And, you know, his, you wear spectacles. <laughs> I put on spectacles and stand in front of the mirror and do all sorts of things from try to be a politician who's addressing like a whole crowd at a rally mm. uh, to actually doing, you know, doing that, like hosting an event, hosting, uh, you know, a group of esteemed guests and all of that. So... It was a picture I had, and I, I steadily grew my, my craft over the period. And most important thing here is that I also got opportunities. Okay. Because if you want to grow in that space, it's very important that you get opportunities. And sometimes you need people who you can easily describe as angels or as people who just, uh, you know, just understand what you're about yeah. and understand the kind of quality you have. Because it's not easy... Um, to, for instance, have an event that is going to be televised across, uh, you know, so many channels on television, which will be followed on social media mm. and has a physical audience of about yeah. 1,500 to 3,000. And you want to give it to somebody that you, you're not sure about. You know, those, those are very, very critical decisions. And that's the reason why I like to celebrate uh, certain people, you know. Um, recently, I celebrated uh, Mr. Gedi Lai. Uh, Mr. Reginald Lai is the chairman of uh, MMRS Ogilvy. Okay. And uh, he's a seasoned entrepreneur and a former president of the Advertising Association of Ghana. Has a, a massive, you know, CV when it comes to what he has done in the marketing communications space and the entertainment space as well. Yeah. If you'd remember back in the time in Miss Ghana, when Miss Ghana was um, the biggest entertainment event in the country, mm -hmm. um, he, his outfit, which was, uh, you know, Media Whiskits, was organizing it. They organized and it. I remember very well that I walked up to him one day after church and I said to him that, look, um, I know I'm not big yet, so I'd like to do the regional events. And, you know, the format back in the time was that they would have regional events in the lead up to, um, you know, the event proper, the main yeah. uh, event. So I said, listen, I'd like to start from the, you know, and he said to me, wow, why didn't you say it early? I would have given it to you. And I was very surprised that day. I thought, I thought he was patronizing me because I thought, look. He hadn't I'm seen not, you before. I'm, yeah. Know. I mean, he hadn't seen me host an event before. Okay. But then he seemed to have this crazy confidence in me. And I don't know why. I have not asked him. He hasn't told me yet, you know. So I shared this story, you know, in church uh, on Father's Day. I used him as an example. Regularly, I use my late father, but I, I decided to use him to celebrate him with that particular story. So you need, you need to have people who will believe in you. And um, you just, at certain times, need to be at the right place at the right time the as right well. Time. Um, you know, that you host the right event at the right time. Because mm -hmm. you may think that, okay, you're just hosting a little get-together for about 50 people. Looks very close-knit. Yeah. May not look so big, may not look so flamboyant. But that key person there who's in charge of taking decisions at an event's outfit, that key person there who is in charge of taking a decision that will require a professional master of ceremony, just be there and would see you and would say, oh, look, this guy. I like this guy. Mm. Or I like this lady. And that's the end of the story. But you see, in doing all of this, you also need um, direction. Direction. You need to carve a niche for yourself. I'm a versatile brand. And that's the reason why you see me doing the VGMAs. You see me doing, uh, you know, a bank, uh, you know, financial service event launch. You see me do a presidential dinner. And the next minute you see me doing um, boxing. Boxing. <laughs> where pitches are very high and all of that. And then you come and see me doing, uh, you know, 
a musical concert musical as well. Concert. And then you see me do a fashion show. You see, that is me. That is Nathaniel Atto, the versatile brand. But we're all made differently. And that's what I always keep telling the people who uh, come to me for advice and come to me for direction. I keep telling them that, look, there are so many other branches of this, this, this uh, craft that we were, were, were within or we operate within that people do not look forward to. The other day I was telling a, a gentleman that, look, um, so you're looking forward to doing similar things. You want to do, what, weddings, you want to do corporate events, mm -hmm. you want to do social events and all of that. Have you, have you thought about starting from your hometown? He was ever. And I asked him, have you thought about starting from your hometown? <laughs> In Ghana now, festivals are such a big deal. Have you all noticed? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah true. Festivals yeah. are such a big deal. True. And whenever you go for these derbers and all of that, people travel from town. Significant people travel from town. They go there and they go for these huge you, cultural you, events. Yeah. Why don't you ensure that you get yourself well-versed in your language? Get all of those jargons. Get all of those terms. Get all that is required to acknowledge protocol. Go to the, the chief's palace. Go and seek uh, direction. And let them give you, learn. And become the official MC for the festival. That is where it begins. Have you also thought about, okay, you are in the south. You are in Accra. Let's just say you come from, da 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 Keta. Keta, okay? Okay. You can position yourself as the main MC when it comes to traditional ceremonies like funerals. Um, naming, ceremonies naming ceremonies and the rest of them in your town so that every other weekend you're driving back yeah, and forth you have a, a gig. and you've, you've killed, you, you nail it. You see, because what will happen at a certain point is that this space we're in, and I, I liked your intro, this space we're in becomes a bit of a clutter. And just like the, the practice of law or private practice, those lawyers who land all the big cases which are very, very lucrative, mm -hmm. are within a very, very small box. And so until you get yourself there, until space. you get the needed experience over the years and have the law at your fingertips or have uh, a certain aspect of private practice or a certain aspect of law at your fingertips, you will not be there. You cannot play in that space, unfortunately. Okay. Because guess what? Mm. Guess what? Me. There are days when I've had clients who have said to me that, if it's not me, it's not anybody else. And that is not to say we don't have other good MCs in the system. But it's just because that person identifies with your quality and says that if it's not you, it's not anybody, anybody else. else. And let me just quickly add this before you go to your next question. Um, so one day, uh, a very good friend of mine who used to be a, a managing director of a bank, she was celebrating her 50th birthday. Um, I didn't seek her permission to mention, so I can't <laughs> mention her. Okay. But she was celebrating her 50th birthday. She came to me late. She came to me late to, to inform me and to book. And then it so happened that it clashed with a date that had already been uh, set aside for the military high command's end of year dinner where our current vice president was going to be the guest of honor. Hmm. If you'd all remember, there was a period when um, His Excellency the vice president had to be flown out on emergency, on a health emergency. Yeah. It was that day. So he was supposed to be the guest of honor at that event. That event. Eventually, it was uh, the defense minister, the defense minister uh, Mr. Dominic Nitiwo, who stepped in for him. So that day was this party, okay? And she just wouldn't take it, even though she knew she didn't call me early. You know, you understand me? So there are people who, who get very attached and very... Um, adapted with your, mm. style with your style and with your quality and what you bring to the, table to the table in terms of driving an event from start to finish, that sometimes it becomes difficult to let go, you know. Now, now take us through your typical day on a Saturday where there's an event. <laughs> I don't you... do events only on Saturdays. <laughs> but, okay. Saturdays are just one of them. Saturdays are just yeah. one of them. So on a day that you have an event, <laughs> what... What, what do you go through before you just get out there? Time is always of the essence. Um, I, I balance my, my work, my full-time work at the multimedia group mm -hmm. as, as a journalist and um, you know, as an anchor and all of that with, with all of this. So I, I always ensure that whichever event it is does not 
conflict with anything I'm doing at multimedia. That's number one. Number two, like I said, time is always of the essence. So um, the core principle here is that every other time there is a one hour ahead of time arrival. There are certain cases where um, you're already camped on the premises of the event yeah. or at the location. So for instance, there is a, a, a CAF Awards event, okay? There's a, I'll give you an example. So for the 2018 edition of the AFCON women's, uh, the, the women's AFCON, yeah. you know, the, the draw by CAF, um, there wasn't anything like arriving one hour ahead of time because I was there at the hotel already, at the, at the Movenpick already. That was where the event was held, okay? Um, a lot of the, uh, the guests from the Confederation of African Football, a lot of them had traveled from, um, from around the continent. They were all stationed there. And we had to do a bit of a, you know, we had to do a dry run and all of that over, you know, over a day. You, you get me. Yeah. So, yes, for, and, and all of these things I'm saying have to do with uh, the genre of the event, uh, you know, and how elaborate it is, it, it is and the levels of twists and turns in there. You understand me? So when you have one of such magnitude, yeah, there's a lot more time. And, and uh, there are a few other things that people do not notice, the kinds of things that go on backstage. I mean, um, like I said, this is me. And so because of that, um, I'll do a last minute event. I'll get a briefing for five minutes and I jump on the stage. That is because it's me. Yeah. <laughs> that, like they say, do not try this at home. However, mm -hmm. If you, if, you, if you grow yourself to that stage where you also are very yeah. confident and receiving a briefing in five minutes and walking onto a big stage, then all the best to you. It's, it's good. It's a, it's a good quality mm. to have. Okay. And, you know, we've, 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 um, we've, we've worked through a few, a few of these things before. And, I mean, I remember very well. One day I was, I was, I packed, you know, those days when you're closed from work, you know, you really want to let your head down. You don't want to meet your friends. You don't want to go for any party. You just want to go home and jump onto your bed, like yeah. dive. You know, yeah. do you swim? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just want to dive yeah, you on your bed. Get to your bed. You want to just dive on your bed and just, you know, just go to bed, you know? So it was one of those days. Weird enough, it was a Friday. Okay. You know, and, and on Fridays, you all know, between uh, 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., there's a certain wild energy that gets into all of us. Uh, you see? You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> That's wild energy that gets into I everybody. Gets into no, us. no matter how tired you are on a Friday morning, by three, between three and five p.m., you realize that there's this it just shoots you know, kick like that, that you get. Yeah, yeah, and and you just wanna you know hang out, you know, have a good time. So on this particular day, look, I I was tired. I just wanted to go home. So just as I was shutting down, I get I get I get a phone call, and it's from one of uh, you know my very reliable agencies that I work with. Mm. You know, so they say, hey, Nathaniel, where are you? I said, well, <laughs> I'm in the office. What am I wearing? As usual, um, you know, I'm on a regular oh, day. Yes. Like to do the suit oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Not you. We got to talk about it. <laughs> so I said, yeah. Um, okay, drive to the conference center. No, drive to the conference center, yes. Um, you know, and at the time, um, UT, UT Bank was still in existence. Mm -hmm. um, I hosted the launch of UT Bank. Okay. okay. Um, and I hosted the the launch of the UT group or the UT Holdings group. And yeah. that was the particular event I was talking about. You know, on that day, um, if I'm not mistaken, on that day, Amachi Dede was gifted a, a, a Range Rover, a brand new Range Rover vehicle, mm. uh, yeah, back in 2011. It was quite a while ago. 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody should calculate anything. We're not here to intimidate anybody. You know, so yeah, so I just drove there and bingo. I just, you know, took my briefing and I and just got it. on the stage and we did it. Mm. And we wrapped up very nicely with Amachi Dede. I remember very well, you know, okay. the serious so, vibe. So the way the footballers have the rituals, like, you see, like, 15 minutes of time, they are listening to some music, mm -hmm. they do some prayers. I'll I, I, I tell, tell you something, yeah. Um, gladly, I have introduced every, every relevant artist, new school, old school, in this country. I mean... Um, and of course, this is where we'd have to pay respects to the memory of uh, A.B. Krenzel. A.B. Krenzel. Um, uh, I'm, I'm very privileged to have introduced him on stage. A wonderful gentleman. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's left very big shoes. I just believe, I just hope, and I believe that uh, certain little aspects of the vibe, the musical vibe that he had would be picked up by the new generation. I saw um, Kwame Eugene do something with him at Plus 233 recently 
honoring him, and I thought it was a wonderful thing. So yeah, um, it, it, it's amazing. So the things that some of our artists get up to, you know, you see some of our artists and you see them, oh, okay, so we'll talk about this in a bit, but you see some of our artists and you see them real confident and all of that, but you just get to know that, like I said, we have different people yeah. with different mindsets. mindsets. And not everybody is that confident as we see them. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you see people go very jittery. I don't want to, you know, let's keep the names out today. <laughs> uh, one we all adore, two bits, two bits. Look, I mean, moments before a performance, mm. I mean, you see him pacing up and down. You go to the washroom, uh, put on sunglasses, put his hands in his pocket, looking very, you know, like frozen cold. Yeah, tensed. You know, very, very tensed to come and press up a bit. Oh, look, uh, all press sorts up. of things. Yes, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, yeah. what, 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 what about, about you? you? What about Me? You? I, um, well, you can put anybody on the phone, anybody who's worked with me on the phone. I just, uh, I mean, what I will do on a regular day is to say a prayer. Mm. And that's mm. it. I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't shake at all. Mm. Not at all. You're just showed in your corner. No, 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 no. You are always like this, right? You are always always like this. I have always been like this. Always, I have always been like this. Even when you started, you say that you're a natural. I'll tell you something. You know, there are days when you'd get this, you know, this slide. Oh, okay, time is up. Okay, so let's go. But to say we're shaking in our pants or we're where jittery or we're walking up and There's down. There's not been any event oh, like that. I, I probably should have given the producers a phone number or two to some of the biggest producers you know in the country, mm. yeah. stage managers and all of that, whom I've worked with. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've worked with all of them and they'll tell you. Ask them, they'll tell you. I, you know, to like I said, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good quality to have and I'm very, very grateful to God for that. Very, yeah. very grateful to God. Okay. I mean, I know that it's not, because you see, there are days when you'd have to work with somebody who is mm. not as experienced as you are. Yeah. And for me, the most important thing is that you bring them along with you. Yeah. You understand yeah. me? That, and so sometimes... That's, that's another bit of it. Yeah, I'll give you another you example. So um, there's a former minister in the Kofor government. Okay, so his, um, his, his niece was getting married. His niece was getting married. Mm. Um, no, a nephew of his was getting married. And the family were insisting that they wanted his daughter to be a co MC to me at the wedding. Okay. I said, okay, well, fine. Okay, a few minutes to the start of the event. Um, this lady asked for a drink. Not alcoholic, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not, it wasn't an alcoholic. She just asked for a drink. I mean, up to that point, I still hadn't noticed that she was really tensed and was very mm. scared. And this is somebody who was introduced to me as, oh, she's really good and all of that. You understand me? And on a regular day, I'd be very, very, um, I'm, I'm very particular about whom I co with. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's because of dilution of quality. Okay? okay. Now, um, what it is is that I am more interested in having a successful event than having three million people at the event come up to me and say, oh, Nathaniel, you were so good. Yeah. Uh, we loved you. To hell with the other person. No. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't need <laughs> okay. that. Yeah. I don't need that at all. What is paramount for me is that if we're having an event, okay, let's say the Metro TV Praise Jam or the whatever, whatever. You know, I've given you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. when everybody walks away, they say that this was a classic event. Classic this was event. super. We want to have another installment of this. I prefer that to, oh, you were the man, you know. The... Yeah, it's good to have, look, Let's not get it twisted. We're, we're all made in the image of God. Yeah. Am I hearing an amen? Amen. Let's get all the fans. I mean, all the fans. You know, <laughs> uh, it's almost time for us to, you know, get done with all of this. But before we do that, yeah. uh, I am very interested. I know a lot of people out there are interested in your costuming. Ah, uh, that one. You used him for our style inspiration before. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, yes, yes. as, we have. as our style we inspiration have. before. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm yeah, good. yeah. Good. <laughs> You're having a style inspiration. I mean, you're... Perfume, I'm very interested in that as well. I mean, yeah. cologne. Yeah. Like, yeah, cologne. Okay. Ah, uh, well, well. Um, you mean of, let's say, you know, having manicure, yeah. pedicure, yeah. you know, all those things. And the beard also. And the yeah. beard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what I tell everybody, especially when I get the opportunity. I do a lot of speaking engagements as well in, in our, our second cycle institutions and in our, you know, in our tertiary institutions. What I tell them about grooming and brand is, you see, branding is, is a process. It's a whole total package. It's not just the way you look. The way you look is paramount. And let me tell you the reason why. 
we're always talking about oh healthy living, healthy living. Da 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 da. Um, so this suit was made for me a couple of years ago, and I still fit into it. So then it means that if I go beyond this, I can't you put can't this on anymore. It, yeah. okay. So then it means there's something about my discipline that I need to check because originally that wasn't my frame. Mm. You understand me? And you see, so your health is taken care of because you're always, you're always looking at this. We're checking this. We're checking that. When I was about to get married, we went to the, the jewelry store and I spoke to the gentleman. I said, Charlie, guys, I want to expand this thing a little bit. And he said to me, no, um, I think you should keep it. We don't want to touch it. We don't want to tamper with it. If we do, I'm sure something is going to get messed up. Leave it like this. Besides, it will help you to check your weight. <laughs> and truly, it's been like this. I take it off and, and it's here. <laughs> you understand me? So the moment you start feeling uncomfortable, you know that, oh, Charlie, you've been yeah. a little yeah. playful. <laughs> and, you know, too, too, you know. <laughs> so it all follows one, one scheme. And okay. that scheme is that once you take care of you, once you take care of your image and you present that image to everybody else, it, it metaphors or it, it uh, sorry, it, um, it ripples mm -hmm. on other aspects of what you do, okay? okay? For me, I've always loved color. I've always loved putting things together. And this has always been from my childhood. Gladly for me, I've, had, I've come from a tradition where, uh, you know, I had, I had a parent or two who understood these things and have these things yeah, at the disposal stuff, yeah. and they were examples for me to see okay. i mean back in the time i used to count my dad's uh, uh the late dr victor Atto, I, I used to count his uh, his the number of suits in his closet nobody should ask me that the, the last count. Count. <laughs> I beg. How, how, I beg. how many were they i beg. i'm talking about my last i don't know i don't know oh uh, back at the time you could count 30 35 you okay. know different colors different mm. you know cuts you know and one of the things that also helped me to discover my own and do my own in my own line was that I used to, mm. I used yeah. to do um, my dad's selection of clothes and selection okay. of the look anytime I was going out, whether it was a kente look, whether it was a suited look, whether it was, it was going to the consulting yeah. room, mm. whether I, 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 had the, I had to select that. Okay. I had to select the tie. And you had, what, three million in coat, three million ties. You had to select all of them, select if it's a jacket. Mm. Uh, you select it with the right pants, okay. the right color of shoes, the right color of belt. How many shoes do you so, have? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what, am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> you, you, you need to repeat your costume. Do you repeat them? I don't know. I mean, look, the other, the other interesting thing is that, you know, you can do different kinds of combinations with, and that's why I keep telling yeah. everyone that mm. you don't need to be a billionaire to look, yeah. to look decent. Decent. Not flamboyant, but mm. decent. Decent. I mean, if you want to do the kind of thing that I do, you must be prepared for it. And I mean... Um, some of the things are habits, okay? They become habits. Some of them you don't, you do a lot of impulse buying. You see this thing you're walking yeah. by or yeah. you're flipping the pages on your, what do you call it? And then you say, ah, Charlie, so I need to get this. Back, yeah. Hey, deliver it to me, eh? How much? You know, those things happen. But on a regular day, you should realize that, especially for us, the men, and even the ladies, I mean, okay, so look at this combination that you've done. Um, I wish everybody could okay, see so from yeah. the top to the bottom. So, so, so this, this color of a jacket can go with an all black, mm. like black, uh, you know, at the top, uh, black capri pants, black, uh, you know, shoes, okay. okay? You can do them with coffee. You can yeah. do them with uh, purple. You can do them with white. The same, mm. the same jacket, yeah. you know? So all you just need to do is put them together, have a couple, and then switch them around nicely. If, I mean, if, if you want to have an elaborate, yeah. uh, you know, as well. I, I have friends who... Have quite a number of shoes. No, I mean, you, ladies. You, you about your what about your shoes? It's, it's, uh, tell us the number of shoes you have. The number of suits you have now. Chale. Um, you know. Yeah, I know. I know the bloggers always watch this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So by hundred. Yeah. That's what you said. You have a hundred shoes. <laughs> That's asking. a lot of work. But, uh, Nathaniel, uh, before before we wrap up, so yeah, sure. um, I know that the core responsibility of an MC sure. is to bring life to an event. Very well. Bringing life to an event doesn't necessarily mean you ought to be funny. That's a nice. Bringing one. life to an event is relative. If you if you are in a, a one hour launch of a product in in the insurance sector mm. in the finance sector, okay. You don't, you're not going there to make people laugh. No. Mm -hmm. If you run everything smoothly, and maybe at the end, you put in something that is appropriate. 
Okay. And once again, appropriate. appropriate. I'll give you an example. I attended a wedding of a, a friend of mine years ago, um, a Labadi Beach Hotel. Unfortunately, this gentleman, and I'm sure he's known to, to quite a number of you, he's a colleague in, in the industry, uh, he's not active nowadays, but he said a joke about a husband cheating with the help at a wedding. I mean, who does that? Oh. That day, everybody was cringing. Everybody mm. was cringing. So you need to understand the kind of audience that you're serving. Yeah. That is very, very important. Yes, it is good to be witty. It's good to be funny because you're going to be caught in situations where you'd have to, you know, uh, lift yourself up immediately and move. Yeah. Because there are days when maybe you'll be given wrong information and okay. you have to, uh, you know, recover quickly and, and go. So, yeah. yeah. So it's good to be funny. However, not every space requires, requires that level that. of letting your head down. If you're at a party, it's different. Yeah. If you're at, uh, you know, a conference, it's different. It's, different. it's the people are there to discuss what they call serious issues. So you're not going there to go and poke fun and, you know, it's not necessary. We're wrapping up. Three attributes in less than 20 seconds that you'd want people to have to be able to become successful MCs. Three attributes. You need an overdose of confidence. Okay. You need to be expert or you need to be specialist okay. at the language in which you communicate. And you need to understand the kind of audience you're serving. Thank you for joining us. We are really <laughs> grateful that you came through. Also known as Citizen at all. And uh, the Nope Gali and the Mommy Toki Lalawa here. Charlie, those stories, <laughs> hey, those stories have to be written in books. Too. <laughs> we have to be <laughs> just going to talk about time. them like we'll this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great, great, great. Thank coming. you for having me. Yes, uh,